This was the first trip on Concorde for the Princess, though at subsonic speeds only, just a short hop to Vienna via Milan to pick up the Prince, who'd been on a painting holiday, despite his broken finger, which is still giving him some pain. Her problem was the chill wind blows from Eastern Europe, bad for hats with rims. They were greeted by President Kirchschläger, just as if this were an official visit rather than a trip to give a necessary boost to British trade in Vienna. The army's representative was romantically courteous, the habit caught on. But the motorcade underlined that this was the airport bombed by terrorists only weeks ago. No chances were taken. At the Rat House, the town hall, the Burgermeister spoke lengthily in German. The princess's interpreter whispered the translation in her left ear. At least one presumes that's what he was doing. Late this afternoon, the couple broke their host's rules about no walkabouts and did just that outside a museum. This was their response despite heaving security for the unexpectedly large crowds. And tonight, in pursuit of British Week, they went to the Berg Theater to see our National Theatre Company in Love for Love, staged in one of the great playhouses of the German-speaking world. His eyes were drawn roofwards by the splendor of superbly restored ceilings. The princess was in sequined green, glittering appropriately for the occasion. The audience, who paid dearly for the privilege, gave them a standing ovation. Anthony Carthy, music tenor in Vienna.